In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to convert your Serato DJ Pro library over to Rekordbox using Lexicon. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is open up Lexicon. If you haven't already got your library imported in, all you need to do is click this icon here. Come down to import tracks and playlist, and then you're gonna import from Serato DJ. It's just gonna load your playlist. And then what you need to do is have selected Serato DJ here. You can either do a full import or you can choose select playlist. We're gonna do a full import. So we're gonna click this and then we're gonna click start importing. Once the import is complete, you'll see your playlist on the left hand side here. So you can see all your playlists that came from Serato DJ Pro. In order to get your Serato library now into Rekordbox, click this icon here again. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sync to Rekordbox 6. If you have Rekordbox 5, you can click down and click this option here. But in this example, we're gonna to export to Rekordbox 6. So again, you can either sync the full library or just certain playlists. We're gonna do the full library. Come down to here and click sync to Rekordbox. It will bring up a message here saying a full sync will mirror Rekordbox with Lexicon. All you need to do now is click confirm and Lexicon will sync your library over to Rekordbox. So if we close Lexicon and open up Rekordbox, you can see on the left hand side that all the playlists have been imported in here and you can see that your collection now has 10,000 tracks. So once you've imported your tracks and you see this analysis window, if you wanna keep your beat grids that you've configured inside Lexicon, what you're gonna to need to do is uncheck this BPM forward slash grid tick box and only have phrase switched on. This way you'll be able to preserve your beat grids that you set up in Lexicon and they won't be overwritten in Rekordbox. So that was how to convert your Serato DJ Pro library over to Rekordbox using Lexicon. I really hope you found this video helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.